Hi guys, it's Ghost of Spack here with another episode of the World of Warcraft Let's Play, and we are in the wonderful Darnassus. And you notice something different with our character? Is he wearing something new? Maybe something shiny, something that improves his vision? Maybe. And is there stuff on the action bar that you probably didn't catch last time? Well, I believe it is. And what we see here on the action bar is the... What should you say? The riches of being an engineer. The things of, about being an engineer. Anyways. I have had such a... Like, uh, I, I really wanted to play. When I was gone. Like, not at my computer, but on another computer playing. Wow. So I could not record. And recording is basically my motivation for this character. So, yeah. But I, I had some, like extra motivation so I leveled up engineering as you see we have not lost so much gold I believe uh, but I have like made some gold not that much but oh yeah all right let's let me just get on this here we are actually going to stone town mountains as I've been talking about over the latest couple of videos that I really want to quest her so our experience here took also a big boost that is based on that I turned in the quest from Shadowfang Keep that we finished up last time and got myself the Spell Axe of the Farseer. Which is a really great axe. It's better than my old maze. Let's see if we can find it here. There. You can see here, well, yeah, it's plus intellect and crit on uh, this one and on this it's like strength and stamina. Yeah. So th th this was a major upgrade, we got it from Shadow Fan Keep. Well, we got both maces from Shadow Fan Keep, so this was w this one was a bit short-lived in our, like, collection. And this one lo looks much better and is actually on the back. Which just is badass. There's not so many weapons in this game that is, like, equipped on the back. Just too goddamn cool. And, what was I talking about again with the engineering? Well... From 0 to 225, I abandoned skinning. At professions here, I had mining and skinning, but I never bothered to go with skinning. And as you see, I'm a gnomish engineer. Let's draw that out, because I like that symbol more. Because when you get, or well, reach 200 in engineering, you can specialize between goblin or gnomish engineering. Goblin engineering is basically blow shit up really hardcore. But nah, I don't pick engineering for that, I pick engineering for the gnomish gadgets. As the gnomish harm prevention belt, unfortunately I can't find a dusky belt anywhere. But I have, fortunately for me, made two of these funny tools. The gnomish shrink ray, which should reduce the target's attack power, we're 250, and in this level, we're 24 right now, soon to be 25. 205 attack power, 250 attack power. That's quite a lot. Yeah. And the Gnomish Nedomatic, which basically nets the target for 20 seconds. Like, roots it in place. Which could be very handy. These are both trinkets, so yeah. They're, they're a fairly good extension. And also, that are the Gnomish Goggles with 9 stamina, intelligence, and spirit. That, that This is why I choose, choose, like, engineering. It's just pure badassery. I really want the harm prevention belt, but I can't find this dusky belt on the auction house. I believe a leather worker can make them, but I don't really like to invest so much time in that. Uh, what do we... There's one thing more here that I really want to make. Let's see if we can find it here. Oh, no Mish rocket boots. Increases our run speed for 20 seconds. But I can't find this black mage with shoes either, so... Boots... I meant not choose. Alright. So, I still can't find any of this stuff. And if it would be this would be up on auction house, the rest of the Black Mage Weave kit is actually, well, set. Because it is a set, but without set bonuses, so you won't see. It's not like a set, but it is a set. Alright, it's crafted by Tellers, and the other shit that is up on the age is like 150 gold. And I don't think I want to spend 100 and. Well, it becomes like 180 gold on this. This is like, no, no, it's not worth it. Because I'm not going to be using them, like, frequently. As you see, auction there, on my little add-on 
thingy there. 114 gold. Well, I believe it would cost more to make them, honestly. So, that's basically what I have been up to. As you see, I didn't lose, lose, lose so much gold. And, yeah. To, to extend more in engineering, we need to reach 35. Then we can reach up to 300. Which is my goal, because then I will get a flying shopper. So we could get to the shopper. I really like having an uh, enormous amount of gold to play with. It's like... I know... Look, my ma main character, 85. Or, well, this is my main character, because I don't play WoW so much. So, except for this. So, my old main character, Balorex. He's called, he's on Thunderon, he's a mage, level 85. Now, you might guess, well, he... He must have gold because he's 85. No. No, 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 no. I paid the 10,000 gold for the two flying upgrades at level 80 and 85, I believe. Uh, artisan riding and master riding. Those two weren't cheap. It cost 5,000 gold each. So, I'm broke. I have 30 gold on that character. Yeah. I spent it all because I wasn't playing. So, yeah. Doesn't bother me. And now we're on our way to the Stardust Spire of Ashenvale, where we are going to do some quests here. The entry quest to Stone Talon, basically. As you see, I went exploring, like, where could you start this? I guess it was at one year old. Went there. No quests. Like, looked up stuff on Wowhead. And it appeared that these were the entry quests for Stone Talon. So we are going to do them and hit 25 in the process. But yeah, our tools here... It's also, like, extended with some dynamite and some explosive sheep. Because you always want to carry around explosive sheep. Why not? I mean, they're amazing. Robotic sheep that explode. That's the, that's the Christmas gift of 2012 right there. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage, too. 157. And it's a pet. It's out for a pet for, like, three minutes. Yeah, we're going to... Demonstrated and all that. I want to get rid of these as quick as possible because I'm going to make new, new like mithril bombs or something. Let's see. I can make mithril frag bombs, but I'm going to move up to thorium grenades, which is the next step. I'm right now preparing with materials for like the next step. So yeah. And I got this epic ring, which I'm probably going to sell if possible because I don't really want to utilize epics all that much. You see the quest I haven't taken here? Well, that's because it leads to Stranglethorn Whale. And it's not really... That is not really where we want to go. We want to test out our new gadgets, which I have not done yet. And we want to do some questing. Because I feel like playing WoW. For the I extensively feel like playing WoW for the first time in maybe a year. Half a year. A couple of months. Some weeks. A day. No, just kidding. In about half a year. This is the first time I felt like, oh my god, I want to play WoW. What? Ursangos. 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 Right where? Screw you then. I'm not talking to you. You have a weird name. Alright, so we're entering the Horde encampment there. Alright, I guess we are going in here. Alright, let's, let's not worry about the tin right now. Boog and Minx, find. Alright, freed or find or whatever. Alright, we need to find some guys. Hello! Where are you? Oh, we need to kill you. And you can just fuck off. Alright. Alright, chill. Oh, oh, schnitt. Schnitzel. The mechanic backfired. Yeah, that, that's the thing with engineering. All the mechanics there here backfire quite a lot. Th that's the old engineering for you. Like, old school. The real shit. Yeah. Back. It's, it, that is really fun when stuff have a consequence. Like, oh shit, it backfired. Wait. I must have taken my healing. Oh, thank god. Healing search is so much better because it's quicker and heals more. And the mana isn't really a problem. Alright. We need to find Boog. Is he supposed to be... Um, <coughs> Excuse me, somewhere around... Ooh. Ooh, I'm easily distracted here. But that, that that's quite a big distraction there. So, pardon me, while I kill this guard. Yeah, we really need to kill this guy. We can't have people like this walking around. So, we start off with lowering his attack power. Did it work? 
Yay! The shrink ray. You're shrinked, motherfucker. And this is apparently a boss. Pain. Is that all you will find here? What? Pain is all that you will find here. Alright. That made this sentence a lot more clearer. What? They were sitting on his cart. And I'm not really paying attention to my HP right now. Which could potentially kill me. And oh my god. 25. Woo. And we unlocked the glyphs. Let's just learn. I believe we have a glyph. No, we sold the glyph. Well, screw me then. Oh, alright. We're gonna get some glyphs later, I believe. Alright. Increase the damage shown by a fire totem. I don't use totems. Damage taken by 4%. Increase the, your fire nature spell damage. Alright. I don't bother with the talents here, so... Oh, there. There is someone. And that is a giant bomb. The bo Oh, it's not any bomb. It's the bomb. I recognize that from... Oh, shit. So many quest bombs here. Alright. Filthy goblin technology we are going to acquire. Anyways, let's spawn out these. That's quite cool. Even though it didn't last so long. Alright, it's not any bomb, but it's the bomb, which I recognize from the Horde Stone Talon chain. The Horde Stone Talon chain was actually that you... Chromgar Fortress, you started there and you were transporting the bomb and then you blew shit up. That's basically what the quest chain was all about. So, I hope we will prevent it this time. Because uh, the guy at Chromgar, you know, the guy with the stronghold and all that shit. He blew a whole night of Grew up. Grew, grow, grow, I guess you pronounce it. Well, the drop rates on this filthy technology isn't really very high. Oh, Chief Bombing... Bomb engineer. Oh, so there's not just he's just not just an engineer, he's a bomb engineer. Well the goblins are very specific about their titles, it appears. Well I'm a gnomis engineer. This will be the battle of the engineers. Foreman Jinx, who do you think you are? You're a quest giver for the horde, because I cannot attack you. And you make filthy technology. Alright, so th this thing does not look very pleasant. Neither does Lord Magmar on top of the mountain there. Why the f- what the fuck is he doing up there? Oh well, I guess he could chill there. He's not my problem. Alright, what more quests do we have? We wear quests down there and... Alright, we need this guy's head. Let's just rush here. Let's just hope we make- oh shit, we're not going to make it out of here alive. Oh wait, I'm not going to engage the boss yet. Alright, we let, let's get all of these guys together and we blow... Oh shit, we blow shit up here. We are going to blow shit up here. Get the sheep out. Get the sheep out. Yeah. Get the dynamite out. Didn't work. Oh shit. <laughs> Stop bombarding me. I can't use the dynamite. Oh shit, it's a cooldown. But it's not displayed. Oh my god. This was not a brilliant idea. Oh shit, what am I doing? Oh well, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Give me the health pot. Alright, I need a strategy here. I need a strategy here. And you need to go to hell. Why did I do that for? I, al I always do this shit. Fucked up shit. Which you should not really do. Oh, heal, heal, heal. No! Oh my god! Fuck off. I'm dead. Well, that, that was not really brilliant of me, was it? You should never make a run for it. Even though I'm equipped with the latest technology. And some cool shit. Well, whoa, I'm running really quick. It was not enough. Screw you. Screw you. Well, let's see if we can make it this time. Because uh, th th this time I will put my brain in the right place the skunk works well that's also a name all right get over here you filthy technician You're gonna have your shit blasted out of here blasted into outer space if possible BAM you don't throw dynamite at me I'm too cool for that shit oh you call for your friends your friends can't help you now they're just p 
honey technicians, they ain't no goblin engineers. Because everyone goblin knows goblin engineering. Goblin? Gnomish engineering is the master. Master race of engineering. Is that engineering system saying that your your spe specialization is better? Yeah, then I am the worst engineer assist in the whole wild world. Oh, your bombs? Oh, I got sheep. I got sheep. Bitch. How are you gonna beat that? Huh? So why are my cooldowns not this displaying? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Need to shrink you. Even though it was not really needed. We always need to shrink. And the EOS goes up again. Let's regain some mana and... Oh shit, there's another guy up here. Well, they did not go as planned. I believe we have a water shield. Yeah, we need that now. And we need you, and let's get you out of out here. Yeah, that's effective totem use for you guys, sir. Alright, let's see what the bomb has to offer. Report the existence of the bomb. Alright, but we won't disarm it, even though I'm a master engineer here. You have a master engineer here. Not goblin though, but I guess no machine will be close enough. You have a master engineer, I can't... Ah, I should probably be able to disarm a bomb with just a fuse. Like, cut off the fuse or something. Yeah, that should probably do it. I guess we'll be coming to that later. Alright, let's see so we can have water shield up here. We really need to regain some mana. And you need to die. Well, let's blow them up. Alright. I hope we. Oh, who are you? You're an Ashen Whale assassin. Oh, thank you for not doing shit to help me. Oh well, you're welcome. Oh fuck you. I'm really on, really on the mad side here. I'm swearing a lot. Well, that's good because I'm pumped. Really want to get into Stone Talon. Never been there before. Oh come on, don't come here. I don't need you again. Alright. Oh, now the cooldowns are displaying. How wonderful. Alright, should we really go to do the lake quest? Nah. It's like a waste of time. It's, a, it's actually a very great having to key, having keybind Q, W, E, R, and T. To, like, your spells. Unfortunately, it's like a bit. Because Q, because these keys are, like, under 1, 2, and 3, 4, and... This makes it kind of a mix-up. But it works. It works well enough once you get used to it. Oh, snap. Heal. You ain't blown me up. I'm, I'm very low on mana right now. I should really get some... Something to drink. Very soon. Do I have something to drink? I have a mana potion, which I don't need. Oh, oh snap. You're respawning here. Technician. Yeah, I've been also doing some PvP with uh, a rogue. I have a rogue in level 72 called uh, Gottegrisen. Anyways, he's on the same realm as my main, so he has PoA, but I don't really use them, so anyways. I'm using the level 70 arena set because I have so much honor to spend, so yeah. With that all out of the way, I can tell you that uh, PvP under level 85 must be the most imbalanced thing ever. I mean really now. With BOAs you have the hugest advantage ever. If you have BOAs or you have a lot of blues or like good items. Oh well they're fighting over there. If you have good items like you will not just kill the enemies. You will brutally rape them. That, that, that's just how how much damage you can do. I two shot with my rogue in full arena gear. I two shot them. That's like ambush deals half of their health when being rogue and eviscerate like depletes their HP totally. Oh wait I wasn't done here. Oh well fuck it. It's like oh no come on it backfired totally this time. A very unreliable device. But yeah, the PvP is so unbalanced that I could just pwn anyone that do not wear male or above gear. 
Oh shit, I don't wanna get hit by these. Oh sh What? Telling me I don't have enough mana? You kidding me? Yeah, I've died twice in this place. Well, I just have myself to blame for this. But still. Still. Nerf blocks. No, I'm just kidding, don't nerf shit more. It's already as easy as it is. And I did it. Anyways. The P and yeah, I've been playing PvP on a level 20, well, right now 20, but he was a 19 Discipline Priest with full BOA. Except Trinkets, I believe. And... Uh, well, except Trinkets, Cape, Headpiece, yeah, everything that came in character, I don't have that. And I have not have the Trinkets. So, with a kind of complete BOA, you should say. I c as a disciplined priest, you can totally ruffle pwn. Not just pwn, but ruffle pwn. It, it's hilarious how much damage and how unkillable you are. That's the same with rogue, how much damage you do and how flippin' unkillable you are. To prove that, I'm probably going to play a clip with me doing battlegrounds with my 72 rogue. And, no, not the priest, because I can't do that anymore. But with my rogue, I'm going to prove that. I'm going to put a clip in the next video, because we're going to end it up here. And I'm going to put the clip there in the beginning, so you can see for yourself how much damage I can explode on people, basically. That, that, that's how much it is. So, let's just turn everything in here, and uh, to meet you. we'll be pretty much done. Yeah, we gained quite a lot of XP already. They set them up the bomb. They what? It's how big? I have a very bad feeling about this ghost up. Well, me Good too. Luck, there, what is that? Pfft. Well, here it comes. Yeah, that's pretty much the bomb. This is the weirdest looking Luft balloon I ever seen. How may I help? They took our gnomes. Well, I yeah, found our gnomes, I guess. All right, we, I got this guy's. Whoa! We're getting blues up in this. And we're getting a new chest that piece up in this. Yay! That's just awesome. Now we should be sent into the Stone Talons by this guy. Hey. Yeah, Stone Talon Mountains. We're going there next time. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Ghost Upstairs playing World of Warcraft. Until next time, guys.